Hey guys, so in today's video we're going to be working with the Ender 3 V2 and something that's been bugging me about 3D printing in general is that for some reason I was never able to get my Cura prints to wind up exactly dead center of the build plate. For some reason they were always shifted over to one side and until now I did not know how to resolve this problem but I came across a YouTube channel, the uh, Content creator is called Hacksaw67, and he had the solution. I want to share it with you guys because, man, I've been racking my brain on trying to solve this for the longest time. So this is what you got to do. So we're going to start by removing the uh, Garolite sheet from the printer, and then we're going to use a pencil with a straight edge and find the center point. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing, turn on your notification bell, and leave me some comments. I love reading the comments and do my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. All right, so let's uh, get on with marking up the Garolite. So we're just going to remove the, the, the Garolite sheet or your build plate surface from your printer. Now this uh, Garolite's got the rounded edges, so it's going to be close. It may not be 100%, but it should be ballpark. All right, so you guys can see that there. All right, let's go ahead and reinstall the, the Garolite. All right, now that we got that on, let's jump over to on shape and create a little tool that we can use to center the prints to the build plate. Start by creating a document and give it a name. And I've had a lot of people show interest in learning on shape, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, talk uh, during this segment. This is a very simple part, so it shouldn't take very long to create. Uh, next thing you want to do is change the workspace units over to millimeters. And then we're going to create a sketch. We're going to select the top plane. And then we're going to create a square. Now the, uh, the other little selector that I picked was to kind of make a, instead of a solid square, it's kind of a, a like a construction line for a square. And then we're going to create a couple of circles here in the middle. Click the little measurement tool and let's define the diameter of the circle. So 23.2. And then we'll make this inner circle 20 millimeters. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to find our center. So I'm just going to draw a line from uh, this top edge over to the right and then... Uh, top edge down to the left, same thing on every corner. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to create an X in the middle of our circle. And uh, what you want to do next is uh, sometimes uh, Onshape will allow you to, to select like a small segment, but in this case, for some reason, it's not. So I'm just going to delete these construction lines. So I'm just going to select the construction line and then press the delete key and get rid of it. Same thing with these other construction lines along the edges and on the bottom. And then what we're going to do next now is we're going to give this a size. 
So about 1.13 millimeters. And then we're going to use the equal tool to make these all these sides equal. And what you do is you select one and then select the other one and it will make them equal. So you select the one that you want to equal and then the, the next one. All right, now we're going to create some lines. And we're just going to join up these points. And then uh, once we have that complete, then we're going to click Extrude. And then we're going to select the areas that uh, we need to extrude. So this is our bullseye. And we're just going to give it a depth. In this case, we only need to be a couple of layers, so 0.4 millimeters is good. And pretty much that's it. So now we're just going to export this. Again, give it a name. It's going to export as an STL file. Once that's done... We're going to head over to Cura, and we're going to load our model. Cura, by default, is going to put it in the center. And then you just want to click Preview and make sure that you don't have a brim on or anything like that, because we don't need that for this print. Guys, let me show you what's going on here. Let's see close. So this is this is what's been happening to me. Even though Cura shows you on the screen that the object that you're working with is in the center of the build plate, when it comes time to actually printing the G code, um, what I've been finding is that it's always shifted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my calipers to take some measurements. And what I want to find out is how off it is right to left. Okay, so to me it looks like 2.23. Uh, so we'll just write that down somewhere. And then the next one is going to be this way. So 5.25, so it's going to be 2.23 on the X and 5.25 on the Y. So let's jump over to Curia and I'm going to show you where we can make these changes to fix this. I wanted to put this slide up here to give you an idea of how this change that we're going to make in Cura is going to resolve our problem. Currently, Cura thinks that our nozzle is directly under the position where it printed the bullseye. So that's where Cura thinks our nozzle is. But in fact, our nozzle is where the X that we marked on the build plate actually is. So what we need to do is we need to tell Cura to move uh, the location of the nozzle up by 5.25 millimeters. Uh, now, by up, I mean back, right? Because you got X and Y. You got positive Y is towards the towards the back. Negative Y is towards the front. Uh, so we need to tell Cura to move the, the extruder head back 5.25 millimeters. And we also need to tell Cura to move the X axis to the right. 2.23 millimeters. So both of these would be indicated by positive numbers. Now I got a second slide here just in case you guys have uh, different values. So for example, if Cura thinks that your nozzle is down and to the left, 
of uh, where it needs to be, and you in fact need to move it down and to the left some more to get it lined up, then your, your numbers would then be negative. And that's because you're moving down and to the left. Or in, in the case of Y, you're moving towards the, the front of the build plate and to the left. So that's uh, how, to, how to look at this. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. If you guys have any additional questions about this part of the video, leave me some comments and I'll do my best to clarify. All right, let's go uh, slice this model and then we'll, we'll uh, print it and see how it comes out. In Cura, what you're going to do is come up to where it says settings up at the top left, select printer, go over and go down to where it says manage printers. And then select the printer that you're going to be working with. In our case, it's the Creality Ender 3 V2. Select Machine Settings. And the change that we're going to make is going to be over here where it says Extruder. So click on Extruder. And if you notice, right now there's no values in here. We have the material diameter, but we don't have any values on X and Y. So here's where we're going to enter our values. So we had 2.23 for our X. And then we had 5.25 for our Y. And uh, once you finish that, just click close. Click close again. And then it's going to re-slice your model. All right, now that our model is ready, uh, let's export it to an SD card and print it. All right, so this is the position of the original print. This is where Cura thought the nozzle was. Let's go ahead and take that off and let's run this print again. All right, guys, check that out. So now we're exactly in the middle. That's it for this video, guys. If you like the content, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Turn on your notification bell and leave me some comments. I love the comments do my best to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Till next time, take care.